Hello and welcome to another video how-to from GillsMethod.com. Today I will show you how to transfer pictures to your iPad. If you're new to iTunes, chances are that you're wondering how you're going to get pictures from your Windows computer to your iPad. Unfortunately, you cannot simply drag pictures over to your iPad and be done with it. You must use iTunes, the method I'll show you here, email the pictures to yourself, or use a service like MobileMe or Dropbox to keep photos synchronized between your computer and your iPad. Before we begin, note that I'm using iTunes 10 and an iPad running iOS 3.2. So, let's open iTunes. Here I have it open, but once iTunes is open, click on your iPad under Devices. When you click on your iPad, make sure that you click on Photos. Normally you will see the summary page, so we want to make sure we click on Photos. Then you'll notice that there's there's two sections here, the sync, sync Photos From and Folders. Sync Photos From allows you to choose a directory that contains folders with pictures. Now, what you need to understand is that you can only sync one directory at a time. So if you have pictures scattered all across computers, you might want to consider putting them all together into one directory named Photos and then be able to sync from there. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on Choose Folder and just browse over to the location where your photos are stored. So remember, make sure that you're viewing the directory with all the, the uh, folders containing your pictures. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click Select Folder. And once I do that, I'll be presented with a list of folders within that directory. Remember what I said, you can only have one directory at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and click the direct the folders I want to include and hit apply. In a moment, iTunes will automatically synchronize the photographs within those two folders in the directory I chose to my iPad. Thank you, and if you have any questions, make sure to use the comments in the YouTube in YouTube. Thank you.